much Fab. Today's video is just going to be a little job I've got from like start to finish. It's going to be some CNC plasma work, a little bit of lathe work and a little bit of welding. So should make an interesting little project. This is a thermostat housing for a Saab engine. These engines normally sit, it's a front wheel drive engine, if you want to run it rear wheel drive. Um, then this outlet is facing what would be the bulkhead of your car. It's facing straight out of the back of the engine. So we're just going to relocate this uh, outlet coming straight out so it'll come out 90 degrees to the face of the head. So we'll just draw, th draw this as a plate on the plasma table and then I've got some tube which is close enough to this little bit bigger but it'll be fine and then we can sort of turn it down on the lathe to get that uh, the little sort of raised lip at the end and then just weld it on the center and um, yeah should be a nice straightforward easy little job and uh, when it comes to the welding I've got this little rotary table this had been dropped and the wheel all, all broken off it, so I thought it's a perfect, um, a perfect candidate for a welding sort of spinny thingy, which will be powered with a drill. So I can just set it up on there, put some grips or something around this get, to get the speed set right. And that should make welding it up a bit more interesting. So that's how it sits normally. Obviously not really any good for a rear wheel drive. We, we just want it coming straight out. Yeah, this is um, kind of a weird shape if you look at it. These holes aren't running through the centre of this. These holes, the center of these holes is four millimeters down from the center of this hole. Is that right? No, it's only two, isn't it? Because if it was... Yeah, so... A two mil two mil down, which is weird, it looks looks a lot more than that, but we want our um, hole in the middle to be same as that 33 these holes are 9 and then this is obviously offset to the center. So we need the distance between these two. So zero that. 83.3. Outside of that is 66.5. And then we need to work out how far from the center that uh, hole is over to the one side. So we should just be able to take that measurement. We zero that measurement off. And then take that measurement. 10 mil. So that hole is 10 mil further that way. But like with this, because we're taking it off the, the radius and it's pushing, we only need to move it 5 mil across because we're losing the 5 mil of this side. Obviously, gaining it that side will make make the measurement of each side 10 mil. So this one 
This is five mil off center that way. That should be all we need. That's dead center now, so we need to, every time I bump this, it bumps it by five mil. Don't know if you can see that out there, but I've got this set to five mil, so bump that across. Now I need to move these bits I can set this to two mil now and then bump that down and let's move that off the center two mil. <clears throat> so now I can move from the center there, 67. Now we just need to uh, make this into a little kind of spout end. That hole is the same size as that hole. I think what I'm going to do is just make a little um, a little center to hold hold everything centered so I can just slide it all in and then when I'm welding it it's not going to slide about
Right, so the only thing that went wrong with that, really, uh, that's, that's a pulse MIG, using the pulse function, that's what it looks like. So, uh, smooth, but um, if you look, it's kind of tipped over a little bit as I was welding it. It's uh, because I didn't tack it, I just slotted it on there and just let it weld around. It kind of pulled up a little bit as I was coming around. So it's not quite sat on there square, but um, I can always cut another one and just redo it. It'd be pretty, pretty quick and easy to make now. Um, now everything's set up. But let's try it on. Alright, so there's the uh, finished article against the uh, Saab version versus, versus the Urchfab version. So I'll, I'll knock a few of these up. I'm pretty sure there's going to be people that are doing this conversion that are going to want something like that. Um, and now I've got everything set up. Uh, they should be really well, they will be really quick and easy to make. And the DIY weld positioner, which uh, this works awesome. I've wanted to do this for ages. Um, with it having uh, all the degrees around it, I can just, once I get it set right, I can time how many seconds, you know, how many degrees of it passes and then I can write down the speeds and stuff for doing doing different things um, and then I'll maybe make something up that just makes it a little bit easier to adjust the speed with the drill instead of using a G clamp but that worked a treat. Alright, that's going to be it for this one. Um, should I have a Mongrel update for you next week, um, depending on when the stuff turns up for that, but I'm going to uh, get cracking with that as soon as I've got some materials to start doing it. So yeah, cheers for watching, see you on the next one.